Hello there and welcome to Wrestling Lockdown here on the W3L Network. Thank you for joining me as I'm sure you do every single week. Thank you for being part of the W3L Network. One button click gets you a subscription, costs you nothing at all. And you'll be notified every time we put out a new show, not just Lockdown every Sunday. As you know by now, we give you content during the week. We've seen Kevin Williams and Emily Hayden here with their own shows. Luke Aldridge continuing to bring you the untold XL. Mike Mussel dropping the bitter truth. All these things we bring to you for free right here on the W3L Network. And eventually we're going to bring you more live action. Currently these are our rescheduled events. All subject to change of course. Hopefully we can bring you even more than that though. So look out for those in the coming months. Uh, thank you to Crafty Connoisseur who are of course sponsoring every live W3L event this year. Check them out online, they've got offers on. Check out their website, they'll send stuff straight to your door, tell them that we said hello. And of course get your hands on a cool W3L fan support package. Prices from only £5. You're getting cheap ringside tickets, DVDs, signed posters, a personalised video message from a W3L star of your choice. Well worth getting, prices to all budgets, full details on the website. But before you do all of that, why not have this week's match? The original Craig Stevens has been desperate to try and get his hands on a championship. We saw him have his last shot at the heavy title not all that long ago when he took on Mike Musso. Well, he's managed to wangle yet another title shot here this week. He's facing the wrestling showdown champion Kevin Williams. Hot on the heels of his victory over Ryan Rude not all that long ago, Williams has momentum on his side. Is it enough to overcome Craig Stevens? Or will the original walk away with a brand new championship in his grasp? So we'll wait to find out. Let's get down to ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is a singles match set for one fall and is for the WTL Wrestling Showdown Championship! Introducing your challenger, he is from Edinburgh and weighs 84 kilograms. This is the original Craig Stevens! Introducing his opponent, he is from the 8-bit subspace superhighway at 200 megapixels, the WTL Wrestling Showdown Champion, Kevin Williams! Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe Fordis, here with you on Wrestling Lockdown. And as you've heard, the Wrestling Showdown Championship up for grabs. And there is the championship belt held aloft. Kevin Williams in the red and green single defending against the original Craig Stevens. Two of the more regular members of the WFL roster. Both have been for uh, quite a while with varying success here in the World Wide Wrestling League. Williams, of course, the wrestling showdown champion. They won the championship back at uh, WrestleMania 13 last year. In, uh, the months since then we've seen him defend it against the likes of former champion Luke Aldridge who defeated to win it, uh, the Tormentor, Tommy Cross, Ryan Rude most recently and of course uh, Blondie Barrett as well, he's trying Stevens in the corner and it's no easy task, Luke is a powerful man and Stevens is as well you can see by his, his some, some sculpted physique as he backs Williams at the corner. Look at this, neither man willing to break. I think that just goes to show what this means to both men is if you are trying to count. And the, the lockup still has been broken on an arm drag. There's going to momentary advantage and send Stevens flying again. And sits out with it as well. And Craig Stevens not doing too well at this juncture, he started off quite well with the, the lock-up, now the man getting the advantage is Williams pick up the pace, and lands a leg. Oh wow, barely even a one count. It used to be a little strangers to each other, they, they battled a couple of times right here, and this very cool gun back towards the end of 2018. Wow, 
Uh, oh, seems apparently budged. Williams getting up some torque and some momentum and knocks down Craig Stevens. His 84 kilograms versus 200 megapixels, and you can see the result of that. <laughs> Stevens avoided what was potentially another leg drop. So I said the battle before, the back in October of 2018, and Stevens got the victory, there's no championship for grabs. But he ended up smacking Williams with one of the, the metal hooks of the tumbacle uh, to get the victory. And then the following month, the wrestling jet again. And then uh, Craig Stevens was defeated by Ken Williams at that point, obviously. That was the end of 2018. Stevens has certainly pulled uh, a few more tricks out of the bag since then. And both men have definitely improved at the top of the games as Williams being a counter one there. And it's been a really long journey for Williams, his former two time tag team champion. And you know, there must have been a point in his mind where he thought that maybe he was never going to hold a singles championship. Nothing ever quite worked out for him. But he yeah, had a string of um, singles victories. And of course, managing probably against Luke Aldridge last year at Resolution. And then all he needed to get the job done, he defeated the XL to become the Wrestling Shooter champion. And Stevens trying for the snap there, and Williams holding on for dear life. Probably better on his feet than off them against Craig Stevens. Both it appears that Stevens is determined to take Williams off his feet. So he goes in for a cover. And again, just slightly after one, Williams kicking out. And the original sends him final things yet again. And back elbow. Oh, straight for a cover. It's a hallmark of Craig Stevens. Always going for a cover if possible. He's a man who is uh, on something of a quest. And the last song here on the show about five weeks ago was hold on reversal by Williams. Oh, and an inverted atomic drop. And so that's one of these judgment calls at a low blow and rolls up in that Oklahoma roll. Something new at Williams, it seems. Stevens with Harry, so the jumping new with the the ease in which he just threw down rolls and again straight in for the cover. Craig Stevens not hanging around. So the same like five weeks ago he challenged Mike Musso for the Heavyweight Championship. They've had quite the rivalry from really about the past year or so. I imagine the PD would be Stevens' last opportunity to challenge for the Heavyweight Championship because for all that he's been around the WPL since what, the middle of 2014 or thereabouts, Craig Stevens, he's never held any sort of championship. Now he, of course, challenged Musso for the heavy title and could never quite make it work for him. We know that he forced his way in the breakout championship tournament. Check out last week's match. He's been locked in for more information than that. As he covers Kevin Williams yet again. And so he's been given this opportunity because Williams is happy to face anybody. And obviously Craig Stevens is a, a fantastic athlete. But, you've got to question yourself, if you're Craig Stevens, at what point does it become desperation? He's never held a title. How far is he willing to go? He couldn't beat Musso, he couldn't beat Roderick Jones in their tournament final. Will he beat Williams here tonight as he goes for a cover? It's not to want to trying. He is covering him at every opportunity. Craig Stevens knows the value of scoring a pin as soon as he can. How desperate will Stevens get? What is this doing to his mental state that he's never been able to raise a championship? He's probably the as Wani drives him down. He may have dropped Williams on his head. I think it's going to be over. So, oh, how did Ke Williams kick out of that? Got a shoulder up. Stevens hoisted him up. And he may have lost control. It's hard to tell, but he dropped him right down almost on his head. Williams slow to get back to his feet, he's really on the back foot here. Steve's in firm command. At the whole point you going to doubt yourself that you've never held a title and every time you try you never make it work. What does that do to Craig Stevens? How far is he willing to go to win this championship? We know that he obviously trains physically a lot. He, he's gone and, and sought other training, he's trained at other schools around the UK in an attempt to 
will be finding new edges. Williams drops a knee lift and takes him down that reverse net breaker. But Kevin Williams, this has been a career goal for him to hold a singles a championship in WCL. He has, he's finally got one. It's taken him a long time. A lot of people maybe overlooked him initially. And we didn't think he was up to much, but he's proved every single of his doubters wrong. He's continued to improve, he's in the best shape he's been in, he's wrestling better than ever. I mean, you see how he's a, he's got a bald head for that extra, a streamlined effect to make him move just that, that couple of paces quicker. So it's that Hadouken. He's firing off with that a renewed enthusiasm as Kevin Williams. And he obviously runs Press Start Gaming Scotland, because of what uh, retro games markets and video games themed events. It's lovely Kev Tendo suplex there. Pop Stevens in the air, held him, dropped him down, and it goes for the cover. But Williams will be a little slow in the follow up, understandable, because of what he's gone through in this match. And all of this, he's got a family as well, has given Williams a renewed enthusiasm for what he does. That and the support of the crowd, who love Williams like almost nobody else in WCL. Oh, hang on, went for the clothesline, went for the game over. Stevens had it scouted. And he drops Williams with a hot shot across the top rope. <laughs> Those ropes are tight. What is Stevens doing here? Oh wow, and he flattens him. Hits that northern lariat. Close at the back of the head. And is this going to do it? It won't. Like I say, Williams takes so much pride in himself. So much pride in being the wrestling showdown champion. It's something he's achieved on his own. It's like a tag tail where you've got somebody else that's assisted you, it's all him. And he loves the challenge, he loves facing different people. And how much he enjoys much against Ryan Root, a man he'd never wrestled before. As he dies, oh lovely jawbreaker! Williams caught him. And just hoist him in the air. Stevens isn't the only powerful one. And down he goes. Both men are down if you just checking on them. Stevens may have thumbed Williams in the eye on the way down. It's difficult to tell from his vantage point. But Williams loves testing himself against new opposition. And he knows what Stevens can do again. We've not fought since 2018 here in WCL. But here they are. He knows what he can do. He's taken everything Stevens has given to him and answered it with stuff on his own. Who's going to get up first? Who wants this more? You know who the crowd are favouring. It's Kevin Williams definitely. Stevens reeling. He came off the, the ropes, got caught with the jawbreaker, may have loosened a tooth, dislocated the jaw. And he got slammed down. Williams got up for the mega driver. Stevens at the back. Oh, and the power of Craig Stevens going for that running power slam. Williams. Twice up for the mega driver again. And no, a reversal. Both men know what's coming. And a boot to the face. Craig Stevens, the man who won seven deadly sins last year. He's headlined resolution. And he slams Williams down with that running power slam. Is he going to become the new wrestling showdown champion? You can see how frustrated Stevens is getting because the longer this match goes, the more Williams kicks out of all these moves. All this says to Craig Stevens is that little voice in the back of his mind, the one that tells him he's not good enough, that he can't win a championship, that he doesn't have what it takes. That voice just gets louder and louder and louder, and it eats away at Craig Stevens. He tries to fight through it, but it's eating away at him. With every single championship match he's in, and he avoids Kevin Williams there. Go for that double arm DDT, he's used that to create effect in the past. And let's not forget what uh, Stevens has, has cheated constantly in his matches. We've seen that in the past. As Williams hits the Mega Driver. That's his favourite move. Is this going to do it? Can he retain the title? Yes, he can. Kevin Williams beats the original Craig Stevens. So Stevens threw everything he had at Williams, who fired back, hit the Mega Driver and got the pin. And Craig Stevens fails yet again to win a championship in WCL.
Kevin Williams retaining the wrestling showdown championship there over the original Craig Stevens in a tremendous contest. Who's Williams next challenger going to be? And where's Stevens going to go from here? I guess we'll find out in the weeks to come in our rescheduled live events. This is them, they're supposed to happen in April. We've moved them back till towards the end of the year. We shall obviously see what happens. Hopefully we can bring you more than just those events as well. Uh, stay tuned to all of WTL's social media for more information on these as and when it occurs. Of course, the lovely Crafty Connoisseur will be back in the saddle when we return to live action. Thank you to them. Check out their website. They've got various offers on. They'll send stuff straight to your door. Uh, engage with them and tell them that we said hello. Keep it right here on the WTL network. There's new content every week, not just wrestling lockdown every single Sunday. Of course, we've got Mike Musso with his Bitter Truth audio podcast. Luke Aldridge has got the Untold XL. There's other stuff as well. Check out the playlists. Everything is there for you. You can see what we have to offer and it'll help while away the time. Uh, plenty of content for you to enjoy. And of course, as I mentioned before, pick up a fan support package. Prices start from £5. You're getting cheap ringside tickets, which will never be that cheap ever again. There's DVDs, signed posters and an exclusive video message from a WTL star of your choice. You can get them and help support WTL until we are able to get back up and running with live events. To pick up one of these fan support packages and to engage with WTL in general, check out WTLWrestling.com. Make sure you sign up to the mailing list while you are there. Give us a like on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, join us on Instagram. Use that hashtag, engage us, tell us what you want to see. Are you going to be coming out to see us towards the end of the year? Fingers crossed that we can get as many people as possible. Fingers crossed we can put on as many shows as possible because live wrestling is where it's at. Lockdown is awesome every single Sunday but nothing beats seeing WTL live and in person. So do get in touch and come back next week because yes, another episode of Wrestling Lockdown, another match, more cool stuff happening. I'll be here as well but don't let that put you off. I'll see you next week right here on Wrestling Lockdown.